In the age of Google and Siri, chances are you can't remember your boss's phone number or your sister's address or the capital of anywhere. But if I asked you to imagine Kim Kardashian in a fondue hot tub with the Dalai Lama, that might stick. And that is something every contestant at tomorrow's National Memory Championship understands. The defending champ dropped by yesterday and blew my mind, both with what he can do and what he can teach you. They say dogs have a short-term memory of about 20 seconds. Honestly, mine is worse. Uh, jack of spades? Yep. Jack of clubs? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm done at two. It is all yeah. the more humiliating yeah. because the guy sitting That's next more. to me can memorize the order of an entire deck of cards in 63 seconds. Just one of the skills that makes Nelson Dellis the reigning national memory champion. Yeah. Yeah. Nelson Dellis. And here's the most amazing part. There is nothing extraordinary about his brain. Ten of clubs, ace of spades, three of spades, six of diamonds. Do you have a photographic memory, naturally? No, so my memory is just average. It all began when his grandmother got Alzheimer's, and then he got scared. I was really kind of concerned for myself. And, and what that might mean for me in the future. So in searching for mental drills on the internet, he stumbled into the world of memory competition. Mental athletes, you may begin. And realized that all of these elite mental athletes are also ordinary people with ordinary brains, but they've all learned an ancient but amazingly simple technique. 02694. And once you have it down, he says that you too might be able to memorize the zip codes of a few dozen complete strangers in Times Square. How about uh, lightning bolt? This guy, 02694. Yeah, this was 06878. Wow. She was 07928, 02719. Give him a hand. How about that? Thank you. I remember that the blonde is from Denmark. Is that right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the key is to associate vivid mental images with mundane names or numbers. The more bizarre, the better. Uh, so, my name is Bill Weir. Yeah. Uh, my zip code is 10007. How would you lock that in? I would come up with an image for the number. Okay, so 100 to me is Frankenstein, and 07 is, is James Bond. So I picture Frankenstein oh. sipping a martini. And how do you associate that with? I would stick that on. You have very, you know, news anchor hair. Oh, that's no. Perfect. <laughs> so <laughs> it's nothing bad, you know, but that's, that's just what I would be drawn to. You know? <laughs> So I would picture Frankenstein kind of inside of your, your wave there, <laughs> sipping a martini glass. That's the first part. Now to understand how he remembers things in sequence, we strolled over to my favorite market. I'm asked Nelson to memorize the precise order of one of the better beer selections on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. After staring intently at the order of about 50 different brands, we throw a blindfold on him and... Uh, another Pilsner or Kel. Okay. Um, another River Horse, another Rattenberger, another Goose Island, a Guinness Draft, a flying dog. Is it a blue moon? Yes. Okay. The trick is to assign an image to each brand. So for Modelo Especial, he pictures a special sexy model. How about the Dirty Bastard Ale? I just thought of the, the rapper, Old Dirty Bastard. Okay. He then places these images along a specific path in a so-called memory palace. I was actually using my high school back in Miami and I was walking through it putting all these images along a specific path. Congratulations! But here's where the story goes beyond party tricks. Two weeks after the memory championship and in honor of his late grandmother, this avid climber set out to conquer Mount Everest. Everest is behind me. Acclimating in base camp for over a month, he was able to focus on his memory workouts like never before. And despite the low oxygen, the results amazed him. My times for memorizing a deck of cards went through the roof. Since all those numbers and cards represent these images of, of people I know, having to think of those places so many thousands of miles from home and having been away for so long that they just were so intense. And after he climbed past the body of a fallen mountaineer into the death zone, when his oxygen mask froze 300 feet from the summit and his body wouldn't go on, he says those intense memories kept him alive. I could feel like I was in the living room back home in Miami where I'm from with my family and I could feel the warmth, you know, smell my mom's cooking and 
it was just like I was there. It woke me up and told me to get back down, you know? It's a shame that people who develop Alzheimer's lose those memories. And if there's anything you can do, like, you know, make your me mind stronger, your memory stronger, then people should be doing that. King of Hearts was dad riding a horse. So, point taken, let's get back to dog brain. Brother Josh getting a lap dance. And a stripper, okay. Yeah. Uh, Bernard Madoff making license plates. Oprah Winfrey giving me a Ford Festiva. Just a few minutes after turning the face cards into people and building a memory palace out of my office, behold. Yeah. King of Hearts. Yep. Yeah. Queen of Clubs. Queen of Clubs. Queen of Hearts. Yeah. Jack of Hearts. Jack of Clubs. Yep. Yeah. King of Spades. Yep. Yeah. Jack of Diamonds. Yep. Yeah. Queen of Diamonds mm -hmm. and King of Clubs. King of Clubs, there you go. Look at that! That's oh pretty God. cool, right? <laughs> you just changed my life. There you go. Can't All remember right. your name, though. <laughs> <laughs>